In the field of space research, several significant milestones have been achieved in the past. First and foremost is the first manned moon landing, which is known to have been performed by Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin in 1969. But the other celestial bodies in our solar system are also in the constant field of vision of international astronomers. In the recent past, for example, while NASA sent Messenger to the vicinity of Mercury to study the small planet in detail, the Cassini-Huygens mission was concerned with the exploration of Saturn and its largest and equally famous moon, Titan. In our video below, we would like to inform you about NASA's large-scale program and also about some amazing discoveries that the Huygens made on Saturn's giant moon. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Titan, the king of Saturn's moons. While the world-famous planet Saturn and its extraordinary ring system is often reported, Titan is somewhat overshadowed by its large galactic neighbor. With a diameter of 5,150 kilometers, Titan is the largest of all known Saturn moons. In addition, the natural satellite is also the second largest representative of all known moons in our solar system. In terms of its dimensions, Titan is therefore only surpassed by Ganymede. The constant companion of the gas planet Jupiter even reaches an equatorial diameter of 5,262 kilometers. In order to assess these proportions correctly, it helps to consider the size of our Earth's moon, which is about 3,474 kilometers in diameter. Because of its impressive size, Titan was named after a legendary lineage of gods from Greek mythology. In the tales of the ancient Greeks, Titans were powerful gods who ruled over mankind in gigantic form for a long time. Officially, Titan is classified in the ranks of the icy moons. As the term already suggests, this category includes those natural satellites whose surfaces are mainly covered by a thick layer of ice. We humans have known about the existence of Saturn's largest moon for many hundreds of years. In 1655, the Dutch scientist Christian Huygens succeeded in discovering the giant moon for the first time. The name of the Titan discoverer was subsequently also used for NASA's famous space probe. According to the researchers, Titan is the celestial body in our solar system that is most similar to the Earth in terms of its material composition. Nevertheless, there are some significant differences between the two galactic objects. For example, the average temperature on Saturn's moon is significantly lower than on our blue home planet. Moreover, the pressure on Titan is twice as strong as on Earth. The gaseous envelope of the icy moon is in turn composed primarily of nitrogen and other organic matter. Titan's surface consists mainly of ice and methane hydrate. By the way, methane hydrate is methane that was trapped in frozen water. The existence of life on Titan is largely excluded according to the current state of knowledge of the experts. According to researchers, the temperatures on the surface of Saturn's moon are simply too low for this. However, there could be a gigantic ocean of liquid water beneath the moon's surface. As we all know, water in liquid form is generally regarded as one of the basic prerequisites for the origin of life. The Study of Titan so after the giant Saturn moon was discovered in the middle of the 17th century, it was not possible for humans to explore Titan in detail for a very long time. Over a period of more than 300 years, interested researchers had to restrict themselves from studying Titan from Earth with limited resources. After NASA had developed the Hubble Space Telescope, experts on our blue home planet were able for the first time to draw a more precise, albeit still rough picture of the moon. The first galactic approaches with Titan, however, took place as early as 1979. At that time, NASA sent the Pioneer 11 space probe into the vicinity of Saturn and its moons. Over the course of the mission, the first official images of Titan were published. At that time, however, the spacecraft was only able to approach Saturn's moon to within 350,000 kilometers, 
and a landing on the surface was not yet conceivable in 1979. One year later, Voyager 1 reached the region around Titan. This time, the NASA space probe succeeded in flying up to 4,000 kilometers to the gigantic moon. However, it was to take almost 25 more years before the renowned space agency was able to set down the first unmanned flying object on the surface of Saturn's giant moon. The Cassini-Huygens Mission the Cassini-Huygens project was the result of cooperation between NASA, the European organization ESA, and the Italian space agency ASI. The aim of the undertaking was the detailed exploration of Saturn and its moons using the two eponymous space probes Cassini and Huygens. After the preparations for the project had been completed, the twin probe was launched into the infinite vastness of space on October 15, 1997. After a flight lasting almost seven years, the spacecraft finally reached the orbit of the ringed planet. The Huygens was then decoupled from the Cassini and landed on the surface of Titan on January 14, 2005. During its stay on Saturn's moon, the spacecraft pursued several important mission objectives. According to these, experts wanted to find out what chemical components make up the atmosphere of the natural satellite in detail. However, studying the conditions on the moon's surface such as the prevailing temperatures and material composition, was also an essential part of the Huygens project. The data and images that Huygens was able to collect during its relatively short stay on Titan were subsequently to be supplemented by measurements taken by the Cassini probe. Exploration of the atmosphere and surface temperature. The images and data sent to Earth from Huygens as part of the Titan mission helped the scientists to draw an extremely detailed picture of Saturn's moon. Huygens was able to provide numerous insights into the composition and nature of Titan's atmosphere. About 500 kilometers above the moon's surface, the average temperature is about negative 100 degrees Celsius. On Titan's surface, however, it's even colder. There, the space probe was able to record temperatures that are around 180 degrees below freezing. The pressure on the surface of the moon is again almost two times higher than on our Earth. The fact that Titan's atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and methane was also confirmed during the Huygens project. The fact that the substances argon-36 and argon-38 could not be detected in the atmosphere of the huge moon suggests that Titan must have once lost its entire atmosphere during its existence. The atmosphere is said to have been five times denser in former times than it is today. Violent storms in Titan's atmosphere Long before the Huygens landed on Titan, experts suspected that the moon's atmosphere was regularly hit by whipping winds. This thesis should be proven true by the photographs of the Huygens. In detail, the atmosphere of Saturn's moon is subject to violent winds that reach speeds of up to 430 kilometers per hour. The closer one gets to the surface of the moon, the weaker the storms become. On the moon's surface, therefore, there are virtually no wind movements at all. Volcanic eruptions on Saturn's moon. It was also found that clouds of methane form about 20 kilometers above the moon's surface. These cloud formations are so large that they partly reach the bottom of Titan. The Huygens proved beyond that, that in the atmosphere of the moon, the substance argon-40 exists. The presence of this chemical element suggests that volcanic activity occurs regularly on Titan. However, these galactic volcanic eruptions are very different from the cases we know from our Earth. While on our home planet, boiling hot lava is ejected into the environment during a volcanic eruption, volcanic activity on Titan mainly releases ammonia and water ice. Huge methane lakes and the end of the mission. Another important discovery concerns the distinct methane deposit on Titan, which accumulates in countless rivers and lakes on Saturn's large moon. The areas discovered were subsequently manned by various sea monsters. The methane on Saturn's moon plays a similar role to the water on our Earth and plays an essential role in the formation of various landscape formations. Before the Cassini-Huygens mission was carried out, Scientists thought that the chemical compound was only found at the poles of the moon. However, the images and the data collected during the project showed that virtually the entire surface of Titan is covered by rich methane deposits in liquid form. 
Scientists also found that Saturn's gravitational force exerts an enormous influence on Titan. This creates a regular ebb and flow process in the Moon's atmosphere, as we can also observe in our oceans. The Cassini-Huygens mission was finally completed in September 2017. This describes the point in time when the last fuel reserves of the Cassini probe were used up. The Huygens had, however, performed its service much earlier. After the NASA spacecraft reached the surface of Titan, it sent a total of 72 minutes of data and images back to Earth before the technical equipment ceased its service as planned. We hope that our video has provided you with exciting information about Titan. What fascinated you most about the largest of all of Saturn's moons? We're looking forward to your feedback in the comments. Take care, and see you next time.